Hi, yeah. Capricorn. Thank yeah. you for enjoying your sweetest yeah. moments with me, Merging Timelines. Today, yeah. I'm going to be doing a very quick energy reading for you. Cool, but just overall energy, just to see what's going on for the Capricorns who view the channel, those who need the clarity and reassurance and guidance. This message is for you. I hope that it helps. I hope that this helps. It is my intention to help you realign yourself with your higher self. Let's see what comes through for my Capricorn sun and moon sign. Capricorns. Do two more. Okay. Capricorn, Sun, and then Sun. All right, Capricorn, deep breath. Feeling back pain in this reading. Let's see. There's a journey that Capricorns want to take, they want to set sail. Maybe you want to take a vacation or you're just looking to start a new journey somewhere. All right, underneath that is because you're leaving behind some things that you were invested in at this time. They just don't seem to offer you wish fulfillment. So Capricorns desire travel and they desire to feel emotionally filled when it comes to something with travel. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. They're coming up in your environment. Um, they are the wish, even if it was a past energy that you desired, that you were hopeful for them, you um, deemed them the tree of life. I'm getting from this picture, it's kind of like the tree of life. And so you poured out a lot of emotions in I think that those are the same emotions that you are now looking to take a journey. I'm wondering, is it a journey with this Aquarius, with this fixed idea? Hmm. You have the hangman coming up in your heart space. So with the hangman within, I feel like you may not realize that you're at a standstill based off of how you feel. So the thing that you want or wanted in your past is sitting in your environment and you are not open to it is the way I'm seeing this. Mm-hmm, because then you have the Four of Wands as your influence. So it could be an Aquarius offering marriage and commitment, foundation, happy home, happy life with you, traditions. I was getting a lot of traditions in the other readings that I was doing for you. I actually started this reading three times. <laughs> Channing, ever since I taught, ever, when I taught Channing Talk, so I just finally said, forget it, let's go with it, Mel. You have the Eight of Swords coming up underneath this Aquarius card, this hope card, this dream card. Let's not get wrapped around the fact that it's an Aquarius if it's not for you. It could be just someone that you're very hopeful for. And yet, um, because you're not open within, you're not creating optimism within yourself, you're blocking yourself, blocking yourself and your vision Maybe because you're so used to needing to see what it is that creates happiness before you can feel it. I feel that strong here. 
I feel that there may be the wish in your environment, but because it doesn't look the way that you want it to look, you're blind to it. <clears throat> the future is going to allow you to take a risk. Even though you are not open, I feel that you're still going to take this risk in love. Or whatever, whatever the wish is, but I'm, I'm feeling love. There's a lot of love cards here. There's a lot of indicators of marriage and reconciliation oh, and name wish fulfillment is, here. Uh, I'll show you the cards. Your environment is the star card, right? So this is how I'm feeling you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could just have a, a wish that you really desire and you deem it as the tree of life, something that would give you life. And it's been a wish of yours for a long time. It's been something that you wanted, that you invested a lot of emotions into because your energy right now is saying that you want to take a journey. You want to take a journey, but I feel like you're taking a journey away from what it is that you wished for in your past because it doesn't look the way you want it to or it doesn't you're not fulfilled in it you're not finding emotional fulfillment within it so therefore you're needing to find um your passion reignited with travel possibly you need to take a travel with this person because coming up as your influence is marriage and commitment so this is what we want this is where we're headed your advice card is the empress, so reconciliation, rebirthing, things, giving life to things. Again, big number on the tree of life here. I don't know what message, what is that about, the tree of life? But then you have the eight of swords as your current moment. So we're saying closed within, have this wish that we could possibly have but just can't see it for what it is because it doesn't look the way we want it to and then yet we're still going to take it a risk towards it I feel that even though um, this dream this wish fulfillment doesn't look the way we want it to we're still gonna take the risk which is good it's good you're gonna take the chance but I fear that you will take the chance and not even recognize your um, gift in being able to take the chance based off of it not looking the way you wanted it to. Or maybe you're just saying, you know what, I'm going to step into this blindfoldedly. There's that too. Maybe you're stepping into it knowingly that it doesn't look the way you want, but our expectations are a lot of the reasons for a lot of our failures, our own individual expectations. How many times have we heard that God has a plan for us and he's very humorous and we want to know how he's humorous? We say, create a plan. And you'll find out how much you're just not really in charge. Even though we've given, he's given us free will. I know there's a bunch of people now who are like scratching their head. Don't ask me. I'm going to get your clarifiers, Capricorn. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you continue to enjoy this channel. All right, let's see. Capricorn sun and moon sun. <clears throat> so now we're allowing ourselves to sit on past memories. There goes those expectations again, right? You're healed but you're still looking for things to look the way they did before, right? They don't hurt you. The past does not hurt you. This person who was wearing a false persona, I feel like they were an Aquarian, but they could also be a Taurus or someone who um, is not very good with their spending or not very good with being up front of who they really are. They, they seem to wear a false persona a lot in the environment so however I was saying that you're blocked in between but I think what you're holding yourself back because you're learning to open up within before you allow this person back into your life you do see marriage and commitment as your influence but there is something that 
is just like a revolving door in this connection. There's something that um, someone keeps repeating that won't allow it to ascend to its higher vibration or higher um, level of consciousness between the both of you. You have the Eight of Swords is because there's someone here who's not stepping into their power, and I feel like that's you. I feel like you're not... You don't step into who you are, and therefore this person can, you're allowing this person in a way to wear their false persona. You have the Fool card in your future, and the Fool means that you're going to take this risk based off of it, Ten of Swords, not feeling the pain of the past, not allowing things from the past to affect you anymore. The Empress speaks to uh, the High Priestess reverse. So this is talking about a secret that you let go of or something that you just don't even recognize anymore. It's something that you have released in your own mind. But yet it, they're asking you to pull back and, and bring this back to fruition. Whatever that means. I hope that this message um, offers you truth and clarity. Let me um, put it down in merging timelines, okay? So your past is what you know, what everyone else can see and what you know is that you had a wish fulfillment with someone who was wearing a false persona in the environment, possibly to people around you. They aren't really true to themselves. You have the Eight of Swords, meaning your presence is focused on the fact that you aren't being who you are, truly are, because you feel powerless not being able to see things the way you wanted to see them. In your present moment, in your internal moment, should I say, how you feel internally, what's going to create your future is being learning how to unblock yourself and open your heart to receiving because that's what's going to take that's what it's going to take to take this risk with the full card and allow yourself to completely release the memories of the past is that um you're going to open your heart and you're going to allow yourself to unblock the things that you're blocking at the moment based off of not being able yeah. to see things the way you want to. And then last, as you create your future based off of how you feel, which we went, what we just went over, is that you will create this connection again, but it's going to keep going in this revolving door if when you come back together, you're holding on to secrets or you're avoiding certain subjects. And that seems pretty self-explanatory to me. But I hope you enjoyed this message. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Bye.